And welcome to our visitors today. We're so thankful to have you here. Mark 7 and 24. Amen. Amen. Mark 7 and 24. And from thence he arose and went into the borders of Tyre and Sidon and entered into an house and would have no man know it, but he could not be hid. Let's go to the Lord. In prayer, Lord Jesus, we're so thankful. We are thankful for your presence, for your spirit, for your goodness, for your love to us. And we just ask, Lord, in the next few moments that you draw us near. Draw us near, Lord, into your presence. We pray, God, that you will reveal yourself to us. Let your word come alive, quick, powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. Reach down into our hearts right now, Lord, with your word. Touch each heart that's here today, God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. You can be seated. The psalmist said, How long wilt thou forget me, O Lord? Psalms 13 and 1. How long will thou forget me, O Lord, forever? How long wilt thou hide thy face from me? It seems like at times that heaven is locked in silence. We pray, we cry out to God, and we almost feel like he's being hidden from us. That's what the psalmist is saying there. In Matthew 11 and 25, it says, At that time Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent. And I'm glad that verse didn't stop there because it says, And has revealed them unto babes. I believe if you have a hungry heart, God will reveal himself unto you. In Isaiah 66 and 1, it says, Thus says the Lord, the heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that ye build unto me and where is the place of my rest? For all those things has my hand made and all those things have been, says the Lord. But... To this man will I look, even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit and trembles at my word. When you read that same passage, Isaiah 66 and 2 in the Amplified, it says, For all these things my hand has made, and so all these things have come into being by and for me, says the Lord. But this is the man to whom I will look and have regard. He who is humble and of a broken or wounded spirit and who trembles at my word and reveal, reveres my commands. You can build the most beautiful building in the world, but without God, it is just a building. Oh, we need the spirit of God. We need God to move in our midst. And there is a hunger in my soul that says, I want more. I am hungry for a move of God in my life. And at times I feel like I want to cry out and I'm saying, God, don't hide yourself from me. Reveal yourself unto me. There's a hunger in me that says, God, I've got to see you. I've got to find you. And ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart. He cannot be hid. He cannot hide himself from a hungry heart. We read when he visited his hometown of Nazareth, his own city, he could not reveal himself there as he wished to. 
It says he did not many mighty works there because of their own belief. Oh, but I believe if you have a desperation in your heart that says, if I can but touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. Oh, I believe in that moment uh, God will stop whatever it is he's doing and he will turn around and he will look directly at you and say, you have touched me someone has touched me someone in this building today needs to open their heart and say i've got to have you lord i've got to move into your presence i've got to touch the almighty god with my heart in our text here it says jesus went into the borders of tyre and sidon and he went into a house. He went into a house, but he could not be hidden. With all of his miracle working power, there was one thing that he could not do. Think about that. Is there something God cannot do? He could not be hid. With pitying eyes, the Prince of Peace beholds our helpless grief. He sees, and oh, with his amazing love, he comes to our relief. He came for this purpose, to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. For we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace Ooh. he could not be hid the blessings just seem to follow him everywhere that he goes the bible tells us in second samuel chapter number five all the elders of Israel came to the king at Hebron, and they made David the king over them. He was 30 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned for 40 years. In 2 Samuel 5 and 7, it says, He took the stronghold of Zion. It became the city of David. The Philistines, when they heard about it, they came up against him, it says in 2 Samuel 5 and 20, and David smote them. And I love this. The Philistines fled, and David and his men burned their images that they left behind. Their false gods, Baal, were laying there on the ground, and they burned them. Second Samuel chapter 6, it says, David gathered together 30,000 chosen men to move the ark of God to his new home city. The ark rocked in a cart, and a man touched it and was smitten. And so it says in 2 Samuel 6 and 10, David would not remove the ark of God unto him into the city of David, but David carried it aside into the house of Obed-Edom, the Giddite. 2 Samuel 6 and 11 tells us that the ark, when it went into that house, that there was just blessings. Blessings came upon that house. It says in 2 Samuel 6 and 11, The ark of the Lord continued in the house of Obed-Edom, the Gittite, three months. And the Lord blessed Obed-Edom and all his household. Oh, let me tell you, he cannot be hid. When you bring the Lord into your home, the blessings come with him. It says, Isaac sowed in the land in Genesis 26 and 12 and received the same year a hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. Blessed is everyone that fears the Lord and walks in his ways. Psalms 128 and 1. Surely one shall say, in the Lord have I righteousness and strength. Isaiah 45 and 24. 
Proverbs 18 and 10, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. Psalms 32 and 1, blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee. Blessed are all they who put their trust in him. Job said, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. He knows the way I take. And when he has tried me, I shall come forth as gold. Jesus went about doing good, and he said, I've got to find a place where I can hide away and maybe rest a little bit. Oh, but there's just something about Jesus. There's something about his heart. He looks around, and he sees those who are hurting and those who are in need, and he could not be hidden. Since Jesus came into my heart what a wonderful change in my life has been wrought since Jesus came into my heart I have light in my soul for which long I have sought since Jesus came into my heart since Jesus came into my heart floods of joy o'er my soul like the sea billows roll Since Jesus came into my heart, in his presence is fullness of joy. A city set on a hill cannot be hid, and he is the light of the world. The entrance of his word brings light, and ever since he came into my life, he has brought blessings and joy and nothing but good. Oh, I'm so thankful that he did not hide himself from me. He will not be hidden from a hungry heart. If there's a hungry heart in this place today that wants to touch him, I'm talking about a God who cannot be hidden. I has not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. But God has revealed. Oh, he will make known the hidden mysteries. That in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. And God is able to make all grace abound towards you. The Lord has appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. With loving kindness have I drawn thee. Christ cannot be hid because those who have needs will seek him out. True love will surely find him. Earnest faith will lead you to him. I'm reminded of the story of Joseph. We talked about it last week. But Joseph came to the point where his brothers were standing there in front of him. And he was testing them. They didn't know who he was. And he was speaking to them in Egyptian through an interpreter. And he was basically want to see what was in their hearts. And he said, no, you're going to have to leave your younger brother here, and you're going to have to go back without him. And one of the brothers looks over. He doesn't know Joseph can understand every word he's saying because he thinks he's an Egyptian. Oh, this is going to put Dad in the grave. We have so messed up. First we did this to Joseph, and now this is going to happen and, and, and the younger brother, if he doesn't come back, our, our father's going to die. And he speaks up. He says, sir, sir, please take me instead. Genesis 45 and 1 says these words. Remember, Joseph is a type of Christ. 
I showed you last time all the different ways that Joseph was a type of Christ. Genesis 45 and 1. Then Joseph could not refrain himself. You see, up until that point, he had been hidden. But when he heard his brothers say those things, and they were so desperate, it touched him in his heart. And he looked at his brothers, and he said, I am Joseph. Come near to me, I pray you. And they came near, and he said, I am Joseph whom you sold into Egypt. Now, therefore, be not grieved nor angry with yourselves that you sold me hither, for God did send me before you to preserve life. Oh, I believe that his heart could scarce contain itself as he felt the anguish and the grief that were coming forth from his brothers. And then he just had to let it out. Jesus went into this house, and he's going to hide himself, and he's going to get some rest. But all of a sudden, there's this woman, it says. She's from Syrophoenicia. She was a Syrophoenician woman, and she began to cry out to him, and she began to say, Lord, my daughter is so vexed with the devil. I've heard about all the things that you can do, Jesus. She stood outside the house, and she just kept crying, Lord, I know you're in there. I've heard that you're in there, Lord, and I know that you are my only hope I've tried everything God I've tried everything no one can help me only you can do it Lord I put my hands in it and I've tried to work it out myself but it just can't happen without you God <sighs> and he answered her not a word I'm on vacation. I'm taking a little time off here for some R&R. &R. I've left all of that behind, and I'm over here just relaxing. Oh, but the more she cried, that cry kept going straight to his heart. You see, Jesus can be touched. Jesus can be moved. Oh, I believe he was moved with compassion. And so he spoke to her, but he left the door open just a crack. He said, well, you know, I shouldn't take the children's bread. The, the children are going to have to be fed first. And she locked in on that, and she said, first. That means there might be some leftovers. Oh, Lord, I don't need much today. Just the crumbs. Oh, how about it today? Is there a hungry heart in the room that would say, Lord, all I'm asking for is a few crumbs. God, you have all power. And I've heard, God, that you can do anything. And I believe that you are a God of mercy and compassion. And God, I pray that you will look on this situation that I'm in. And I pray, God, that you will reveal yourself in a mighty way to me. And begin to move in this situation as only you can, God. He could not hide his tears because I believe there are certain times when God just makes a decision that he is going to show up in the middle of your situation. Oh, how about it when the two disciples, they were walking on the road to Emmaus, and they were so downcast. Oh, I can't believe what they did to Jesus. Can you believe what just happened? Oh, I cannot believe all of this. I believe that he was the one who was going to come and take away these evil Romans and restore his kingdom. And now it's all crashing down. And they were walking down the road so sad. 
And all of a sudden, a stranger joined himself to them as they began to walk. And he began to open up the scriptures to them. And you know what he told them? Can't you see this is the plan of God? All of it, all the way from Moses, all the way up to where we're at today, God's got this. And then when he went to break the bread, I believe he couldn't contain himself anymore. And what does it say? They saw him for who he was. Up until that point, he was hidden, but he revealed himself for who he was. Oh, there's nothing like some desperation and pain and hunger to draw God out of his hiding place. How long, oh God, will you stay hidden? I pray, God, that you will come forth right now. Stretch forth your hand, God. Intervene in my situation right now, God. I need you. He could not. He could not stay hidden. Oh, how about the time when the disciples were in the boat and the waves were crashing in and they were grabbing the buckets and the pans and they were throwing the water outside of the boat. And the more they struggled, the deeper the water got and the storm was raging and there was no end in sight. And the harder they worked, it didn't make any difference. And then finally one of them says, Lord... Don't you care? Oh. And the Bible says he just looked around and he said, Peace. Be still. And there's an amazing thing right there. It says the disciples were afraid. What manner of man is this? Woo! I believe Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And if he calmed the storm that day, he can reach down into the storm that is going on in your life right now. He will not stay hidden. If there is a heart of desperation, if there is somebody that is seeking him with all their heart, and they're saying, I've got to have you, Lord. His disciples toiling and rowing. They were toiling and rowing. And they weren't making any progress at all. And what did they see? Jesus walking on the water. Oh, he could not stay hidden. He was up on a mountain praying, but when he saw his disciples in trouble, he decided it was time to come out uh, and make a difference in their life. Uh, oh, he will not stay hidden in the middle of your emergency. But what you've got to have is faith. Oh, he didn't tell the woman, great is your humility. That's what he told her. I'm not going to take your, the food and give it to a dog. She had to humble herself. Lord, even the dogs eat the crumbs. Great is your fervency. Oh, you just keep crying out. Your, your prayers, there's a heat to them and an urgency. Great is your patience. Great is your perseverance. Great is the way that you love your child. All those things were great. But what he told her was, great is your faith. Oh, if you have great faith in God. He can move in your life right now today. He will not. In fact, it says right there, he cannot stay hidden. Oh, somebody touched him. Oh, I'm here to tell you this morning, Jesus is on the main line. Oh, it's time. 
It's time to tell him what you want. How about Mary and Martha? They were calling him up. Lord, we need you over here right now. Our brother, brother Lazarus is sick. And then Jesus didn't come in the time they wanted. And they put him in that tomb. And she said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. I don't remember anywhere else in the scripture he's revealed this to anyone. But he looked right at her and he said, it's time for you to realize who I am. I am the resurrection. Woo. Jesus will respond to your cry. He will move a mountain in your life. He will make a change for the better. He can bring peace to replace pain. He can bring joy to take away sadness. Uh, oh, why don't you let him bring the oil of joy into your heart today and touch you like only he can. Come on. Open up your heart right now. He won't stay hidden. I guarantee you, you can draw him out. You can draw him out of his hiding place today. He is looking for someone with a hungry heart. Someone who is desperate. Somebody who has a humble spirit. Somebody who says, God, I need you to move right now in my life. How about it today? Why don't you open up your heart, stretch out your hands, and say, God, I need you. He's not too busy to hear your heart's cry. Oh, he's past. Come on. Sing by this he's in the house. moment. The healer's here. All Hallelujah. your needs. He, he'll supply. Just reach out. And touch the Lord as He goes by. Why don't you reach out? Come on. And touch the Lord. Come on. Oh, come on. Hallelujah. As He oh, as on. He touch passes the Lord by. Right now. Hallelujah. You will find. He's, He's not, not to be seen. Oh, oh, to hear, to hear your, your heart's cry. cry. Yes, He's yes. passed. Come on, He's passing by. This moment, oh, hallelujah. All Ooh. your needs, He'll supply. Hallelujah. Just oh. reach out. And touch the Lord as he goes by. Why don't you reach out? Come on. And touch the Lord. Come on. As he passes by. Come on, somebody. He's not to to him in his garment. Come on. Hallelujah. To hear you oh, heart cry. Oh, oh, he's passing oh, by this moment. He's here. All your needs to supply. He'll supply. Woo. Just. Reach out, come on, reach on out, and touch the Lord, touch the Lord. As, as He, he as He goes by. by. Just reach out, reach out, come on. Oh, touch the Lord, oh, yeah. as He, he is going by. Come on. You will find he's not too busy Hallelujah. to hear your, your heart's cry. Oh, he's passed. Come on. See, 
by this Come on. old man. Reach on out. And touch the Lord <laughs> as, as he, he goes by. by. Reach out. Oh, touch the Lord Come on. Come on. Touch the Lord. as he passes by. by. You will find Come on. he's not too busy oh, to hear your heart oh, cry. cry. Yes, he's by. Yes. Seen by this moment yes, all oh, your needs. Oh, he'll supply. Hallelujah. Just reach out. Oh, reach on out. And touch the Lord. And touch our Lord. As he, as he, as he goes, goes by. by. Oh, reach out. And Ooh. touch the Lord. As, as he, as he passes by. by. Too busy. Come on, he's not too busy. Oh, to hear your heart cry. Yes, he's back. He is passing by. by this moment. Yes, Lord. All your needs he'll supply. To supply. Just reach out. Reach on out. And touch the Lord. Touch the Lord as he goes by. by. Reach out and touch the Lord. He's not hid. <laughs> oh. Yes. oh, hallelujah. The only time I saw where God hid himself is when they were going to throw rocks at him because he told them, I am the great I am. Yes. And he hid himself and walked out in the midst of them. Flesh and blood disappeared. But somebody that has a need, yes. he is never further than the call of his name. That's right. Woo. Oh, what a God we serve. Yeah. The mere yeah. mention of his name. Jesus. And he shows up and he shows out. Jesus. What a God. Woo. Yes, amen. Yes, ladies. That story.